Hi, Ray Moses here from Michigan Hay Sales. Uh, yesterday I did a video on cracking black walnuts and in this video I want to take the processing a little bit further because a lot of questions I always get are um, how do you separate all those shells from the nut meats? And again I showed you yesterday cracking all those shells to get the quarters out you're going to end up with a lot of small shell pieces. So I came up with uh, an air aspirator, or uh, what it is, it's modeled after a seed cleaner. I got on the internet last year and I looked and there was a guy in the UK, uh, he's got a website, realseeds.com, and they had a, a seed cleaner that they made to save garden seeds, to clean garden seeds, to clean small debris out of there. And I wondered, I wondered if that would work for black walnuts. Because I had seen other type of air aspirators, people tried to use them on black walnuts, and they didn't work at all because black walnuts, there really isn't a difference between the weight of the shells and the nut meats. So if you take volume compared to the same amount of volume, they weigh the same. There's not a lot, a lot of air density. Your traditional seed cleaner, and there's all different varieties of them, but Generally, you drop the seeds down from above through a rising column of air. And the lighter debris, the shaft, and things like that that add impurities to your seed end up getting sucked out. And that's they fall over here. Well, I originally tried this. I made this uh, seed cleaner a lot bigger than their little miniature seed cleaner for seeds. Remember, that's garden seeds. I put a six horsepower shot back on this. And I dropped the material down through this rising column of air. And it just took like very small debris out of the airstream. It didn't really clean that good. And I thought, I shelved this project for a while. I thought, well, maybe it won't work. But what I realized is if you feed the material in from the bottom of the air column as it rises up and allow it to mix over a period of time, the shells because they have a different aerodynamic profile, slowly gain lift and get sucked out of the air column, okay? I've got a door in the back of this that acts, you can throttle your airflow and you can use this with other nuts also, not just black walnuts, but um, let me demonstrate to you here, give you a demonstration on how this works. And another thing, so we started starting with eight pounds, five ounces of material that came out of a bushel of 40 pounds of nuts. So this is what, this is what we ended up with after we cracked. So we're gonna do some weight comparisons.
Okay, so this is what I kind of ended up with. You can tell by looking at this mixture, it's a lot more nuts now. A more, lot more nut meats. Now, we could dial up the uh, this setup here to, to uh, suck a lot harder by closing this door. This is basically how I throttle the suction. Uh, then you do end up risking getting more nut meat sucked up into the debris. There's some very tiny, there's some tiny pieces of nuts in here. And uh, there's also, you know, accidentally if you, you shove the column with too much and you have too much suction going on, you can get your, you know, some good sized nut meat sucked up in there. So you got to watch that. Uh, but let's weigh everything and let's see what our overall yield is. You know, these are some nice quarters here. I think I read somewhere the percentage of nut meat in your average wild black walnuts is, I don't know, is it about 10, 10 or 15 percent? I guess the, there are some cultivar black walnuts that do crack out at a lot higher percentage. Uh, so let me weigh this and let's get some numbers. Okay, so I ended up with 3 pounds, 12 ounces. We started out with 8 pounds, 5 ounces. So right off the bat we took about 55% of the pre-sorted materials already been vacuumed out in the uh, air cleaner. Now, next thing to do is, let me go in and hand sort this, and let's figure out what our total yield of nut meat is using this whole process. Okay, so I like to hand sort these by putting them out on a, uh, a cookie sheet like this. And uh, so basically picking them up with your fingertips. So you pick them up with your fingertips, you'll be less likely to, um, you know, run into shells, okay? If you just try to scoop them up, you're going to get tiny little shell fragments in there, okay? Set up like that, and you see, not running into that many shells. Okay, ended up with. 11 ounces of shells and three pounds, a little bit over three pounds of, uh, of nuts, about 3.06 pounds of, of, uh, of nut meats. So that yielded out of a 40 pound bushel, that's a 7% nut meat yield. That's really high. Usually it's about 5%, but 7% is pretty good there. You can see here, that's the shells. Uh, that ended up being, you know, a little bit over two cups of shells, which was, so out of what we took and ran through the air cleaner, 81% uh, of that volume was nut meat. So that's per, out of the original 3.75 pounds. Well, thanks for watching my video. I uh, hope this is helpful. I had a lot of questions about nut sorting, and uh, this is be good for the small scale producer. What the modern food packaging industry uses now, they use color sorters. And those things cost uh, on the low end a little bit over $20,000. So I think they use a combination of a whole variety of different shaker tables. They probably do some air aspiration, and these color sorters can tell the color between a nut, meat, and a shell. And they also have infrared eye technology, but that's beyond the scope of what most of us small scale producers could even begin to afford. Thanks for watching.